Indeed, the first house of worship established for mankind was that at Makkah, blessed and a guidance for the world. Why do millions of Muslims gather every year at the Kaaba in Mecca, Saudi Arabia? What is the secret behind the Kaaba's power to draw religious adherents from across the globe? And ultimately, how does the Kaaba ferment a prophetic vision meant for us today? The Kaaba, meaning cube in Arabic, is a square building elegantly draped in a silk and cotton veil. The Quran stipulates that more than two millennium ago, Abraham built the Kaaba when he returned to the Valley of Mecca, several years after leaving his wife Hagar and son Ismail there. But Abraham was not the first to build it. But years and centuries before Abraham, a black stone was embedded into the ground at this exact site with Bedouin and Arab tribes protecting and honoring the black stone. But where did the stone come from? Did it fall from the sky? Or did someone make it? While scholars hypothesize that the stone might have been a meteorite that fell from the sky, the Quran explains that the stone was given to Abraham as he built the cubic structure of the Kaaba. Another stone was the Makam Abraham, the station of Abraham, where Abraham stood for elevation while building the structure in consultation with angels. The black stone and the Makab Abraham are believed by Muslims to be the only remnant of the original structure made by Abraham. Legend has it that inside the Kaaba were once statues of Abraham and Ismail, along with pictures of angels and a picture of Abraham with divining arrows in his hand. It has also been reported that there was once an icon painting of the Virgin Mary and the child Jesus Christ. Today, the Kaaba remains empty and cleared of this iconography and has been replaced with plaques commemorating the renovation work to the Kaaba by various Muslim leaders and spices hang down from the green ceiling above. But the Kaaba holds much more than just spices or plaques, but it ferments within its very structure a prophecy for us today. The carved black stone that composes its basic structure points to a truth which we today see reflected in the very technology that is mediating my voice and image to you right now. Like the stone of the Kaaba, our computers, phones, and digital technologies are perfect squares composed of hard black stones, silicon, cerium, and lithium. Rare earth stones have played a crucial role in the digital revolution and given communities today the ability to communicate with each other across vast geopolitical distances. Our seemingly divinely inspired ability to transform these rough and hard stones into smooth and sleek communication devices have given us abilities once reserved only for God. No fleet is too big as we contemplate how these black screens will enable humanity to travel into space, re-engineer our genetic codes, and fundamentally transform the Earth's environmental landscapes. Like Abraham before us, we have the power to build and literally breathe life into stone, using it to make our dreams a reality. However, the seemingly divine power to breathe life into stone and make it come to life before our eyes has come at a cost. The environmental impacts of digital technologies are staggering and difficult to comprehend. Stories of toxic sludge dumps littering what were once rainforests and entire freshwater lakes acidifying into putrid acid abound. Becoming like gods has an exacting cost on the environment and human life in general. So then what does the Kaaba reveal to us about our future today? There in the Kaaba complex, as Muslims gather to circle the structure seven times, 
They reveal that the stone is not there for any one specific person, but it is there for the collective benefit of society, calling and bringing humanity together so that we build a society of stone that enables us all to move and work together as one in collective solidarity. If we fail to build collective solidarity and understand how our relational connections to each other are important for the functioning of society, we will be imperiled by our own technology and face our literal extinction. The stone offers us a choice. It can either become the means of our destruction or the means to building a better society, a society inspired only by the heavens above. Perhaps we will never know who was the first to put the stone in its place. But one thing is for certain. The black stone of the Kaaba offers us a prophetic vision for today and one which can help us build a better society for tomorrow. Thank you.